cutaneous silent period. It's a uh, methods which uh, connected with a small fire, small nerve fibers. So for that, we will stimulate these two nerves. Uh, Painful sense with electrical with uh, with electrical stimulation of uh, pain sensors now and registrate activity of the abductor policies. So we said the same localization and we will stimulate the second finger with bar electrode. Uh, for these methods, uh, we ask the patient to tend the muscle. Yes, so you can see here, but we choose demonst demonstration. demonstration. Yes, yes. So we demonstration. Now we choose scutaneous silent period from medians, medians right? Uh, this this uh, technique to, uh, needs a very high electrical, uh, high intensity of the electrical stimulation. So it's uh, quite painful for the patient. So we will, ideally we need to increase uh, our stimulation up to uh, 80, 100 milliamps with duration uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. But now we can get it some less level. You can see monitoring, it's a, it's a tension of the muscle. We stimulate it with about, we start with about 40 milliamps. We increase, it's a beginning of that. One, two, three. Yes, we can, you can see already at this simulation level. One, two, three. Yes, okay. And the last time, usually we need four, five time. One, two, three. Yes, okay, first uh, we can delete first trace, but this, okay, we can uh, superimpose them and you can see silent period. It's, uh, it's a classical, it's about 60 silent period in milliseconds. So it uh, changed its, uh, its duration throughout different um, uh, um, neuropathy, for example, carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, ideally, we should increase some more, but for demonstrations, very clear. Okay, uh, so, silent, tunnel, silent periods, that's all.